Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Today we are gonna be doing a bridal makeup. I'm actually gonna be doing that out of the Jaclyn Hill um, palette. And this can also be worn as an everyday look, um, but I figured that a lot of you guys had a lot of these shades or this palette. Let's just get started. I have already primed my lids with the ColourPop No Filter Concealer. Mine is in Fair 06. And I am going to start with a transition shade. Let's take a stained Morphe brush. This is the Morphe M573 brush. And we're gonna go in up here with either this shade or this shade, however you're feeling for the day. And I am going to use that as a transition shade as I stabbed my eyeshadow just now with my nails. Um, but I'm going to bring you guys closer in so you can see what's uh, happening on my eyelids a little better. So I'm going to take that transition shade and just pop it in my crease and kind of blow it out. And my cat is doing weird things in the background, so sorry. So while I'm doing this makeup look, I thought it would be fun to tell you a little story. So what brought this up is actually one of my clients. And then before we continue to talk about it, my cat's doing really weird things in the background. Okay. So before we talk about my story today, I'm just going to tell you that I'm going to go in with this shade here. This is like a peachy, warmy type of brown. I'm going to use the same uh, stained Morphe M573 brush and I am going to just place that in the crease. Okay, so one of my clients today was like, Kristen, I was watching one of your videos and I noticed that you were wearing a ring, but I know you're not engaged, so what the fuck, <laughs> essentially. And she's like, and if you are engaged, why the hell didn't you tell me? So, the ring that you guys have seen in my videos, and then I'm actually gonna take this um, Morphe Jaclyn Hill, this is a JH30 brush that has nothing on it, and I'm just gonna further like buff that out. So the reason I wear a ring is not because I'm engaged and not because I'm like trying to hint anything, although like a little, little hint, you know, like a soft one to the boyfriend, but I actually wear one because I, um, so for graduation, my mom had bought me a ring and I wore it on that finger because that's the finger that it fit and so I feel like really naked when I don't wear a ring but my fingers do swell so sometimes I take it off now the ring that I like have been wearing recently is actually one that I got at TJ Maxx and if you're looking for like a pretend I'm engaged ring um, TJ Maxx has some really cute ones and they're not expensive at all, but I, so I got that ring for like probably $25 ish. And so I wear it because one, I feel naked without it. And also because I'm like, hi boyfriend, put a ring on my finger. Uh... He gets the hint, he does. And I'm not in any hurry to get married or anything like that. We've been together for five years going on six. So we've been together a really long time. We've lived together for almost three years, actually almost four years. And 
um, love him. He is stuck with me. And uh, I don't think that there's any real reason to jump on getting married because honestly, it's not going to change our relationship. We have a great relationship and it will always be that way. So that's why sometimes I wear a ring in my videos. <laughs> so brides are usually very easy. They usually all want the same thing. So this is like one that you really cannot go wrong with. Of course, the shape of the shadow is going to look a little different on everybody because not everybody's eye shape is the same. Everybody usually wants a warm, sultry, not really smoky, but give you a little smoke um, type of look. And then they all, maybe not all, but most want shimmer and glitter so and or glitter maybe not both so speaking of glitter you have a couple of options especially with this palette i mean you have so many shimmery shades so i'm actually going to take this shade right here it's kind of pinky, kind of gold. This is a no-name brush, but it's flat. And I'm gonna put that all over the lid. And depending on their colors, their dress, if their dress is like maybe a champagne-y kind of pink color or, you know, just depending on the look that they're going for, maybe what time of year it is, you could always do like a gold shade, which would be really pretty with this look. I kind of like to keep it bright, but again, it just depends on the bride and kind of like the pictures that she shows me. Same goes for bridesmaids. This look will look really pretty on bridesmaids too. Okay, okay. Now, again, this totally depends on your bride. Whatever your bride is feeling is kind of what you should be doing. But um, typically I use a black eyeshadow with a angled pencil brush, not an angled pencil brush, but an angled brush, or you can do a brush like this one. This is the Morphe M432. Um, and again, this is like a no-name brush, but you can always use the Morphe E29. This is actually the brush I use for my eyebrows. Now that I'm thinking about it, I'm gonna use the Morphe M432 brush and I'm going to dip into that black shade it's in the bottom corner of the Morphe Jaclyn Hill palette. And I always do eyeshadow before I do foundation, especially if I'm using this Morphe Jaclyn Hill palette because it does have fallout and I'm not trying to waste anybody's time trying to clean up after, you know. I've already beat your face and then I'm trying to like fucking mess with it afterwards. No, ma'am. I have a like fuzz in my lashes and I can see it. Okay, so I'm gonna take this brush with the black eyeshadow on it and I'm just going to run this on the lash line. I'm not winging this out, but again, if your bride wants a winged eyeliner, give the girl a winged eyeliner. But we're just doing this for some definition. If you're doing kind of a purpley look, which looks really pretty, on blue and green eyes. Um, you can use like a dark plum for this as well. That would be really pretty. And 
And if you have lash extensions and you need a fill, girl, and you don't have time to get a fill, just do this. I promise this is great. Make sure lashes look full. Okay, 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 okay. We're moving along, friends. We are moving along. I am going to take a Morphe M213 brush. Looks like these. And we're going to take the same, like, pinkyish brown that we used on the lid. And I'm going to run that underneath to kind of bring everything together, make it a little cohesive, but also um, give you a little bit of a smokiness. Now you can do this before, you can do this after you have applied their foundation up to you. I'm just going to take, what is this, an e.l.f eye crease brush has nothing on it and I'm just gonna like blend it out blend 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 okay repeat rinse and repeat on the other side Okay, and I'm just going to clean off that e.l.f. brush and I'm going to use it for inner corner highlight. And I'm going to actually use this shade that I stabbed the shit out of up here. I'm going to use it for inner corner and brow bone highlight. So where's the brow for you? The brow for you. And there's the inner corner. Brow bone highlight right here. Roy right on the brow bone for you. And inner corner. Okay, now for base, you can do whatever you have in your kit. Right now, I have the ColourPop no filter foundation and concealer. Um, but for me personally, I'm gonna go in with the CoverGirl. We used this in the last video. I'm gonna apply this all over my face with a damp sponge, beauty blender, whatever you wanna use. You can use a, a buffing brush. You can use something like this, something like this, something maybe like a this one. Um, you know, whatever your whatever tickles your fancy girlfriend. And um, once I have my base on, I will come back and show you guys the finished look. Okay, you guys, so this completes today's like little bridal look. I think that this look could really be worn as an everyday look or a bridal look. Today we used the Jaclyn Hill um, palette by Morphe. And I think it's a great palette. I think if you don't have it and you are a makeup artist or you want to be a makeup artist or you're like starting your kit or whatever, I think it's a good one to have in your kit. It's got a lot of colors that a lot of brides will ask for. So I think that you can kind of like have that as your like starting shadow palette. So that is today's look. Thank you guys so much for watching. I really do appreciate all of the support from the ones that are watching and I will see you next time. Bye guys.